What's up you guys, Nick here, and the secret is out. That's right, I am now with Barbell Apparel. I'm so stoked to be with these guys. I'm gonna explain why in a little bit, but the purpose of today's video is to tell you, one, how I got my very first pro deal, two, how I got the Barbell deal, and three, how you can get a pro deal as well. That's right, anyone can get a pro deal, and I will explain how in this video. But first, I wanna rewind to the very first pro deal I got in 2006 with Nike. Nike was my very first shoe sponsor. We call them a shoe sponsor. They did shoes and apparel. Yup, I don't need to explain that. You guys know who Nike is. But in 2006, I needed a sponsor that would allow me to train for the 2008 Olympic Games, right? I had just come out of college, and I knew that I wanted to be a pro runner. How did I get that deal, you ask? Great question. Well, one, I knew I needed to attract the attention of the shoe companies, but more specifically, I needed to attract the attention of the agents. If you want to be a pro runner in the truest sense of the word, meaning you know you want the shoe deal, you wanna travel the world, you wanna compete at the Olympic trials and the Olympic games, you need an agent. Dolphin, did I say that clear enough? You have to have an agent to be a professional runner of that stature. I don't care who you are, well, unless, you no, know, even Usain Bolt had a great agent. Every athlete at that level is gonna have to have an agent, and here's why. The shoe companies, they do not want to negotiate with you directly. In fact, they won't. They don't wanna negotiate with your mom and dad. They don't wanna negotiate with your crazy uncle. They literally just want to go to one agency and negotiate a dozen contracts at once. Like, think about these shoe companies. They have limited time, limited resources. They wanna get the best bang for their buck. They're gonna to go to the agencies and they're gonna do the negotiations. Now in my case, in 2006, I had just won the NCAA championships at the D3 level and I went on to the US championships where I finished second, right? That's second in the entire United States for all men and that attracted some attention. When I did that, I had agents shoving their cards in my hand. They said, Nick, we wanna represent you. We wanna represent you. And I looked at all those cards. I went to, uh, at the time, my mentor and advisor, Coach Kelly Sullivan, and he said, this guy is who you wanna sign with. I ended up signing with Chris Lane and Total Sports Management. But there's a lot of agents out there, and if you can somehow get them to pay attention to you, to take your calls, answer your emails, and ultimately sign you, they're gonna shop you around and they're gonna find the best deal possible. Now, how do you get the agent's attention? You need to put up some stunning performances. You need to win big races, you need to run fast times. That's what I was able to do in 2006, that's how I got my first deal. Fast forward to today and I know you're wondering, Nick, how did you get the barbell apparel deal? Well, you guys may remember that for the last couple years I was sponsored by Gymshark and I loved working with them. Great people, great products, but I felt that their catalog was somewhat limited, right? They make apparel for working out. Well, I do a lot of things in my life. I work out, but I'm also a businessman. I also like to take my wife out to nice dinners. Basically what I'm saying is my wardrobe is comprised of more than just workout apparel. Enter Barbell Apparel. If you go to Barbell Apparel, you're gonna see they have jeans, they have slacks, they have chinos, they have button-up t-shirts, Henleys. Basically, Barbell Apparel has me covered for every single situation, and I really, really liked that. I wanted to be with a company that had a bigger vision than just workout apparel. I wanted a company that was gonna cover me and cover my audience in whatever situation they found themselves in. They also happen to have really high quality products at an affordable price, and that's always important to me. My team here will tell you I'm a bit of a cheapskate. If I'm gonna spend money, it has to be high quality, it has to last a long time, it has to be affordable. That's what Barbell has. I encourage you guys to go check them out. I promise you with 100% certainty, if you go onto that website, you will find at least one piece of apparel that you can't live without. I know I have. Now, you at home may be aspiring to be a pro athlete yourself one day, and it doesn't necessarily have to be in the sport of track and field. I've explained to you how you can do that in the sport of track and field, but let's say you just wanna be a pro athlete and you're saying to yourself, well, Nick, how can I do that if I'm not that fast? How can I do that if I'm not that strong or not incredibly talented at one individual sport? In today's digital world, what it means to be a pro athlete, that has become incredibly blurred. I know influencers who are not particularly talented or do not particularly excel at any one sport that are making millions and millions of dollars each year being an athlete, kind of like I am today. I'm not that fast, I'm not that strong, but I'm good at inspiring others to be fast and to be strong. And occasionally, I'm even good at being entertaining. So companies like Barbell wanna work with me. You out there, just by being entertaining, by being motivating, by working your butt off and creating great content, 
anyone truly can be a professional athlete today. Here's a little secret I haven't told anybody. Today, at the ripe old age of 38, in my old slow bison form, I make way, way more money than I ever did, even at the very, very pinnacle of my professional career. Now, if you wanna know how much I made as a pro runner, I'll link this video right here. It talks about the best year I ever had, the most I ever made. Today, I make more money being a pro athlete. But again, today, I'm doing the exact same thing I did when I was running professionally. I'm being entertaining, motivating, and hopefully selling some product. So that's the truth. I'm a pro athlete once again. I wouldn't have it any other way, and I certainly couldn't do it without you, my audience. I appreciate every single time you watch one of my videos, every single time you engage with my content, and that's why I try to pay it forward. I wanna give back to this community, so I give away a free pair of shoes every single week. All you have to do to enter is follow me over on Instagram, at Nick Simmons, and I go through that Instagram list every single week. Today's winner is Noah Clark Mason. Noah Mason. Looks like he's a high school runner. Noah, you just won yourself a free pair of shoes. I hope you beat those things up. That's what they're there for. I'll DM you right now. Those of you who didn't win, go to runningwarehouse.com. They have a great selection. Get yourself a pair of shoes. Hopefully you win one of these weeks. We're doing this all year, every week through 2022, so lots of chances to win. See you next week.